Hello everybody feel very welcome to Usitility. Do you know what? We are on the way to discover how to launch and play Metal Slug Infinity on your PC. As you can see now you are displaying it on your screen. We will be able to effortlessly download and set up Metal Slug Infinity so that we can play this game on the Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So it's time to have fun, let's go my friends. First of all mates, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the PC screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's the link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We landed there on the site of Usitility, at which we include a meticulous overview on the best way to download and install Metal Slug Infinity on laptop or computer. We scroll down a little bit and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Metal Slug Infinity on the PC. As you can discover from here we get a great deal of advantages of running this emulator. Now we are ready to proceed to download the Metal Slug Infinity by simply clicking on this button play on blue stacks that you can see here in green color. The step is clicking on it. And the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file. Ok, then we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to view the installation software considerably better. The installer is really easy to understand. It includes a couple of possibilities, install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path actually does. We simply just simply click on it. And we note that we have now here the path where the emulator can be placed. If we would you like to vary this folder we are required to click on that browse button so we select another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we prefer to keep it simple just set it by default i simply click on back and i simply click install now there it is the setup begins and it is going to go forward along with the download of all these mb that happens to be visible on our screen at the time you download it it could possibly be more or less mb the download rate could go at a higher speed or slower, based on your internet and according to the performance of the emulator web servers. Right now they're going very fast. The download is has been completed, and so at this time it continues on with the setup part. The setup needs a little bit more or less time primarily based on the strength of your computer or laptop. The more robust it really is, the shorter the software installation time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and install stage it can take quite a while, so be patient. It is by now ended on my side. Now, the emulator happens to be launched successfully. As you can see, down here, there's a progress bar which will fill up then when it has reached the ending, the emulator is started for the first time. In reality, the emulator was already launched, there for the very first time. Before we continue, as you can see now, it made a couple of app icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is going to be the only one we're focused on. Anytime we choose to operate Metal Slug Infinity on the laptop or computer, we twice click that icon and as a result launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even anything at all such as that. Basically, it's an software icon that we would very likely never ever make use of. Let's perform the following step, which is actually a must-have, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is started. Right here we are required to log on. At this moment as soon as we are on this page, we must absolutely perform this next phase that is definitely absolutely mandatory. Therefore simply click on, sign in. Now it shows, checking info. It may once in a while get stopped at, checking info, additionally it fails to proceed. If so, you could try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may usually be corrected. Now we're going to insert our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. As an example you could use the very same email you use at the moment in your own YouTube account. So that I will submit my data and I will come back after I have completed it. That's it, details inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We would say yes to them all by just hitting, I agree. Next, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected and this will make a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can make use of this option if you prefer. 
We click Accept. Google Play is launched automatically and completely on its own. To set up the video game, we would need to browse the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on the icon designated in green. Now that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we can see that we have now there the Install App option. We click or double-click on this button. Here we have got the video game. Let's then click right here on the Install choice that I am just presenting now in green color. And it will commence the setup. Presently it is going to install the game app, it can take a bit of time or perhaps it might possibly be amazingly quickly. This all relies on the connection to the web. It's as of now ended installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular option I'm showing in green, if you want to start Metal Slug Infinity for the very first time. Let's simply click on that My Games choice just above. We are now on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are on the way to click the fresh Metal Slug Infinity software icon which was provided. The video game is launched for the first time on your computer. Here we get it, I am able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the volume level of that emulator. This is right here, we use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this manner we don't use the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we will activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This is actually the first one, we mouse click on that software icon which I'm designating in green color. And the monitor is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In case we would like to have fun with the application using all the screen, we hit that application icon. And we'd at present be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To escape the complete screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we'd at present play in standard display setting. Now I am choosing to demonstrate to you the computer keys mapping and that is definitely surprisingly useful. That step we will probably be capable to operate the video game much more effortlessly. The first point is to mouse click this software icon. It's now time to get the recommended setups. I can let the normal settings, though if you intend to modify that, you can also do it now with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is entirely in our language. On occasion it occurs that your emulator is presented in the improper language, such as, in Mandarin. And consequently to place it in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. And there inside of many other configuration settings, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We are able to go for the language we need, German, Mandarin, and so on. After the language is selected, we should save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game app, next time we launch it, would also be in the specified language. At this moment, there's another element that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google telling you that a different electronic device has been linked to our own Google account. It is going to question us if we're the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Yep, we should not get worried, because the emulator is acting as an Android smartphone or tablet. And to find which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. And we go here to the, model, choice. And now we learn that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that video user demo. I hope that you enjoyed it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. If that's so, offer it a superb like, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, issues or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You can also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams on occasion, you get it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click any of these video tutorials that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the future video game videos. Bye.